Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be going over The Countess from American Horror Story Season 5. This video is also kicking off my American Horror Story series, so I'm going to be working down from Season 5 to Season 1, and then after I get through all of those, I'm going to loop back around to Season 6. So if you're thinking, wow, an American Horror Story series? That sounds cool! Then you should hit the subscribe button so you'll be told when I make those videos and you can be in the loop on all this and all that stuff and I am moving my hands way too much! So while you're subscribing, we can start this tutorial right now. So I've already got my concealer and foundation on and what I'm doing now is taking my concealer on a brow brush and combing it through my brows, brushing it both ways so it blocks them out and it kind of neutralizes the color. Then to get the bleached effect, I am taking a light foundation on that same brush and barely brushing it onto my brows. The Countess definitely does not have creased eyeshadow, so prime your eyeballs. Then with a light brown, I'm sweeping that under my lower lash line and also mapping out where the shape of the eyeshadow is going to be. Her eyeshadow is basically her eyeliner, so just think of it like you're mapping out a wing. And then with that same brown, I'm sweeping it above the crease. Don't want it in the crease or below the crease, just right above it to give it the perfect shape. Then I am darkening up that wing line area to make a wing shape. And then I'm taking that same brown and sweeping it above the crease. Yes! Season 11 of Supernatural is now on Netflix. Woo! Yes! Season 5. Of American Horror Story is on Netflix now. Now Supernatural Season 11 is on Netflix now. I have so many things to procrastinate with! Yes! Yeah, that's not a joke. I'm definitely procrastinating with all of those. Anyways, I'm just kind of blending that brown into those areas a little bit nicer. Then with a mix of black and brown, I am further defining that wing because, you know, you can never define a wing too much. And I'm also blending it onto the lid a little bit. Then I'm adding some mascara, because it doesn't seem like she has fake lashes on. If you want to do fake lashes, go for it. I just went natural. And here's the very unnatural part. So my face is the complete opposite of Lady Gaga's, basically. So we're going to do some heavy contouring. She has great cheekbones, and I don't really have it that much. So we're going to do some heavy cheekbone contouring. Just going to keep going. Her jawline is much more defined than mine, so I am contouring under my jaw. Her nose is much slimmer than mine, so I'm shading the sides of it. Then using a picture of Gaga as reference, I am highlighting my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. What we got? It's like, here? There? Can't fluff this up, man. Alright. To create her beauty mark, I'm just using some brown liner and making the dot, basically. And her eyeshadow kind of has a wet look to it, so on the areas that we didn't add any eyeshadow, I'm taking a clear lip gloss and just putting it on there. And to make her blood red lips, I'm using NYX's Liquid Suede in Cherry Skies. And I'm also overdrawing my upper lip a little bit because her lips are bigger than mine and I'm slightly jealous about it. If you just want the glamness, then you can stop right here. If you want to gore it up a little bit, you can add some blood. If you want simple blood, you can just do a drip of blood coming down from the corner of your mouth, and I'm doing this with Ben Nye Dark Blood. If you want to go all out with the gore, you can cover your entire neck with blood, and it doesn't really matter what blood you use for this. I started off using Ben Nye's Fresh Scab, just so I could get it a little bit darker in color, and then I switched over to Ben Nye's Dark Blood, to finish it off. Then with a makeup wipe, I'm just taking away some of the blood to make it look a little bit more worn. And I'm painting my hand in blood because I thought it would look really cool for photos. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, then please give me some validation by leaving a like or a comment. And if you want to be in the know about all of the upcoming American Horror Story themed videos and all of the other creepy, creepy things that are going to be happening over here, then subscribe for that and you'll be told about it and you'll be part of this really awesome freak show of a family we got going over here. Until next time, bye!